All right, gentlemen, five rounds under the unified rules for the main event of the evening, title contender fight. We went over those in the back. If you don't have any questions, best of luck, touch gloves. In fight number 60. Can Edwards find a way? What a path to glory it could be for him. So many different narratives ahead of this fight. It's going to be so interesting to see how they play out. One thing is for sure, you write off Gegard Mousasi at your peril. That is not something that any smart man would do. <laughs> Gegard has been in against the very best that this sport has had. I mean, you look at the, the people he's fought and the wins, it's a who's who in MMA. It's incredible. Seven times before, fighters have got into a cage with him, trying to make it consecutive defeats, and none of them have managed it. Fabian Edwards has to do that tonight. Lanza, good left hand early. Well, it's one of the things that, you know, Josh and I talked about before is, you know, I always look and say, when you become the champion, you become just percentages better. But I also think that by being around the champion and being like Josh talked about earlier, being in that gym that that champion is now at, it makes all of you better because now you see how much work it took for someone to do. You see them get successful. That was not good. And he will be given time. That is a painful start for Fabian Edwards. Kick, you can see it landed. And that's the ones that hurt the most. It lands right underneath the cup, bringing it up. Those are the ones that usually will do the damage. So Fabian should take all the time that he needs within that five minutes to get himself back to being as good as he can be. All right, let's continue. Edwards, okay to continue. Sassy said he would keep this on the feet and he'd take a look at Edwards, and that's what he's doing so far. You know, Musasi did say that, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be in a stand up battle with him. I want to be in the stand up. And I look at that and I go, that's not the smartest way to try to beat Fabian Edwards. In fact, it's, that's the way to get knocked out because. Fabian loves people that want to stand with him and not try to take him down. That's where he is best. And so, you know, Gegard, there's no doubt he has a massive advantage if the fight hits the ground and he's in the top position. But if you're not going to try to get it there, then it's going to come down to a kickboxing battle. There's the aggression from Edwards. Throwing a lot of fakes here, both trying to entice the other in. This is high-level stuff. Yeah, one of the things, take a look at that. Gegard does a beautiful job of, he's going to give that little half hitch, looking like he's going to throw a kick. And it'll, it just upsets your timing if you're Fabian. Edwards needs to get past that and step through. If he's looking to throw, step through and throw. Don't get caught in the middle of that. An awful lot of respect here between the two of them. Sassi having an early look. Edwards aware of what Musassi can do. Yeah, but you, you, if you're just taking a look at body language, look at the body language of Fabian Edwards and look how confident he is with the range. He's comfortable with it. He's saying, okay, I can fight right here. I see everything that you're doing and you get within my range that I'm going to snap on you. We know that Fabian Edwards can be devastating for all the criticism that sometimes he can fight to the level of his opponent, fight down to that level. He's very, very good. He's improving all the time. Straight left hand there from Edwards. And one of the things that has made Gegard so good is he, he's got a really good jab. He's fast with his hands, but He's not as fast as Fabian Edwards. And so that makes a difference in this. And like I said, speed kills. It is tough 
to fight against someone that is noticeably faster than you. Southpaw jab and trying to follow up behind it with a left hand. It's been a relatively quiet start here in Paris. So much at stake in different ways for both of these men. Best shot was with a Croydon blow, and you can't count that one. So round two, remember, scheduled five here. Fabian Edwards out a little more positively. I don't think too many people around the table believed Gegard Moussansi when he said, oh, take a look on the feet, and that's where I'm going to have it, but that's where it is at the moment. Again there from Edwards. That's a clean left hand by Fabian Edwards. Sassy is banking up those kicks. He's landed a few of those calf kicks and push kicks as well. Notice again, look at how comfortable Fabian is with the range. Gegard doesn't look comfortable while Fabian does. Fabian's given the face. Notice this. He knows exactly that distance. I need to back up. That's outstanding from Fabian Edwards. Watch the back of the head. Not the place that I would think that Fabian Edwards wants this fight. He's not doing anything right now at all other than getting hit. So that's telling me he just wants to sit here. He's not going to do much. He's going to let the referee stand him up if that's what it takes. But. Nice sweep over, almost elevated him over the top. Nice job by Gegard. And now Musassi in an area where he is dominant. Yeah, I believe there's a huge difference on the ground. It's not that Fabian Edwards can't fight on the ground. He just is not that ground fighter that we know Gegard Musassi can be. And if you're going to be on the ground with Gegard, this is it. This is the way to be. Have him on his back. Telling Edwards to sit heavy, to use that weight against Musasi. Well, that's because when you take a look with that butterfly guard, Musasi's able to elevate those hips. So that's why they want his hips to be heavy. Don't allow him to start to get those hips light, getting them up in the air. That, that way he's going to turn you and get to the top position. And that is not a place you want to be. Edwards trying to be heavy here on top of Musasi. That's not good news for Fabian Edwards. Really smart from Musasi. This is where he wants it now. What? Stop! 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 Over there. Neutral. Well, there was a knee to, the, to a grounded fighter. I couldn't see that it hit the head. I thought he was aiming for the body. That's what it looked like. But from my view, couldn't see it. Couldn't see it live there. Couldn't see it on the screen. And we'll see if we can get a closer look at it. Here we go. It touched. There, there was real, really no power to it. But you can say that it touched. And one. Now he hit me to the face for the same. So you can understand where Fabian's going. Well, how many more? As you say, Musassi loses that position. Okay, 
course, it won't affect Musasi at all. He's seen pretty much everything. He's encouraging Edwards to join him there. Absolutely he is. He's already felt the ground with him. He knows that that's a place that he feels comfortable. Edwards for the first time, real, real snap. Yeah, it was very nice that the way he took his left hand afterwards, landing a clean shot on Gegard from it. Again, Edwards having the better of it there, landed a short right hand. How many times do we have to say it, Dave? Speed kills. It is tough to go against a guy who has got faster hands, can counter you. Heading towards the end of a scrappy, clearly a stop start, second round here. Is that where he should be? And why isn't he going there? Well, that, you're going to have to ask Gegard Musasi that. You know, I had that in my keys to victory. You have a massive advantage in one area. Why not take the fight to that point? And if Musasi, as on John's card, has lost the opening two rounds, he needs to get going here. And Edwards has had success on the feet. Since he's been submitted three times, he's only been knocked out once. He's teak tough. But Edwards is racking up the points effectively. That's a good left hand from Edwards. Musashi dumped into it. Edwards is growing in confidence here. He's growing in confidence with his counters. He's waiting right now on Gegard at times, or he's countering the counter. Nice knee to the body. And all done with that blurring speed of Edwards. Now then, this time a, a clothing problem. They need to fix the uh, the shorts of Musasi here. You can see they uh, they came apart there. Yeah, but it was an eye poke that he was complaining about. He got he got poked in the eye, right there, just scraped across it. That's what he was complaining about. But you do have a malfunction of his groin protection. Literally, stop start. But when it started, Edwards has had the better of it. Sassy with so many friends, members of his family here watching. They wanted glorious redemption here, not more disappointment. Who knows where this is headed at the moment? <laughs> Good kick to the body from Edwards. Fabian Edwards is very smooth in his stand up. He's confident, he controls range very well. He knows exactly where he needs to be. And he knows when Gegard closes that distance, when he needs to attack and force him back. One of the things Gegard needs to do is exactly what he's doing now. Force Fabian back. Fabian is not the same fighter when he's moving backwards. He's, he doesn't have the same volume or attack. Edwards doing a really nice job on the inside of the left leg of Gegard. It's starting to get eaten up. There he attacks it again. Yeah, he's realized, hasn't he? I'm targeting that. It's been a 
Strangely passive display from the great Gegard Musassi so far. Edwards keeps targeting that leg. And what you're, what you're really seeing is you're seeing Edwards a la an Israel Adesanya controlling, being very comfortable, a lot of hand play, smooth movement, and using his length, which is something Gegard has a problem with if someone's got a longer length. That length is causing him some problems with Fabian Edwards. Sassi just chasing Edwards around the cage a little bit at the moment. Edwards so quick, but then Musassi shows the threat that he possesses. The good thing for Fabian Edwards at the moment is that it feels like he's in control. I think he is. He's the one who's, you know, you have Gegard coming after him, but take a look at what's landing. And Gegard's landing some deep kicks to the body, but overall with the hands, Fabian Edwards is the one that's landing the clean shots. And Edwards is winning these exchanges. combination by Lee, Fabian Edwards. That was just well placed. It was a great dig to the body, wasn't yep. it? Plenty of talk in that. Trying to vary things maybe. Of course, with the extra confidence comes danger for Edwards, but he's dominating at the moment. So round number four, did you score round three for Edwards? I have round three, 10-9 for Fabian Edwards. So Edwards three up on John's scorecard. Musassi has got work to do. Of course, the judges could be seeing it differently. Musassi is doing some good work. You can go back to when Gegard won the middleweight title from Bellator against Rafael Carvalho. Went with a guy that's a good kickboxer, went straight into wrestling, took him down, dominated the top position, got a TKO victory. That's the kind of fight that I believe he needs to fight to win this. Because Fabian has showed that he's got quickness, he's got elusiveness, he's able to control most of the range, even though Gegard's doing a great job of trying to crush that space and come into him. giving himself the best chance of victory here, Musassi. Well, he was honest with us when he said, I'm going to stand up with him. He goes, it's going to be a stand-up fight. Well, he wasn't lying. Better shot there from Musassi. 101 of 182 landed. Look at the disparity there in terms of the total strikes landed. Sassi ahead of Edwards, but Edwards has landed the quality. Yeah, whoever is pushing that button is crazy. Great straight that's, left hand from Edwards, and look at the right damage there. again to the inside of the thigh there of Musassi. Edwards targeting it again in this round. And again, Edwards landing the shots with power. Crowd are trying to get behind Gegard Musassi. They sense what's happening here. <laughs> Gegard Musassi is just so tough coming forward, but here you go. That's what he should have been doing, in my opinion. We'll see what he can do. Right to mount. Look at that, how easily he went to mount there, Musassi. Giving himself big problems to solve. Is he about to start solving them? <laughs> he 
Damon Edwards trying to hold on to that hand, hide his head. Nice job of getting back to his feet. Musasi all over him right now. This is a big opportunity for Gegard. Musasi Still plenty of time left in the round. Nice job by Fabian to work his way out of that. That says a lot right there. Yeah, that is a significant moment. to the body there. Good shot there again for Musasi. Is he going to do enough to win this fourth round? Give himself a chance going into the final round. Again looks for the takedown. Again, Edwards does well. Watch Fabian Edwards develop on his Bellator journey so far. Is this going to be the best night so far? Nice job by Fabian Edwards going for the takedown, takes it backside. Who knows what in the face here. He said this would be his final run. He's never lost consecutive fights before, but the great champion, the dream catcher, has to pull something out of the fire here. He's done it before, but he needs something very special here in this fifth and final round. John has it 4 0 for Edwards. So good at solving puzzles, Musasi, throughout his career. He hasn't been able to solve this one. Musasi needs to try and set something dramatic up here. Surely needs more than just a convincing win of this final round. Surely needs something a lot more dramatic than that. Nice return counter by Gegard. Good feints there from Fabian. And you can see the reaction from Gegard, which is telling you he's been hit a lot. You're getting that type of reaction off of that feint. That was a nice clean shot by Gegard there. Fabian into a clinch. Now Fabian really confident. What a nice figure four body lock on Gegard. Suddenly Fabian wants it on the ground and having real success here using his strength. As long as he's able to lace that left arm, that's going to keep Gegard from being able to turn. But Gegard does a good job of turning inside of that figure four body lock many times. So he's got to make sure that he maintains control of that arm while he was up on the cage. Nice job by Fabian Edwards. Smart, he realized he was losing that. Let me get myself back. Edwards is all over Musasi here. Only 
two minutes remaining. Leon Edwards and that Edwards corner screaming instructions at his younger brother here. He knows how close he is. Back to the body triangle. He's doing a great job of keeping himself square with the back of Gegard. Get him up. Fingers out. Fingers out. Let's go. Yeah. Go. Well, Sassi getting increasingly desperate here. Because Edwards has dominated on the feet and now he's dominating on the ground. He's beating him everywhere. Yep. Edwards doing a really nice job. Just controlling here. Switches that figure four. Bigard wants to put that foot to the ground. It'll help in him being able to turn inside of it. Right now, Fabian could switch back to the other side. He's got it locked in. He knows how close he is. They're counting him down here. He knows if he maintains this position, surely it's his night. You can hear the corner trying to talk him through that choke. It's going to be very difficult with just one arm. It's not that it can't be done, but against someone like Gegard, don't think it's going to happen. You can get old very, very quickly in the fight game. Yes, you can. And I wonder if that's what we're watching now, what we watched against Johnny Eblen, taking nothing away from him or from Fabian Edwards, of course. But it's been five pretty dominant rounds from Fabian Edwards and surely his night in Paris. We go to the scorecards. But Edwards has surely done enough. And Musassi, well, thoughts will be flying through his head at the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's main event, we go the distance. So we go now to your judges at cage side, Eric Cologne, Sal, the model, and Brian Miner. All three have it exactly the same at 49 to 46. All for the winner by unanimous decision, Fabian, the assassin.